Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. And this one, we're gonna discuss something that I think needs to be discussed and that is cases. Before we continue, please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe and comment below and be sure to hit the bell icon so you can get an alert every single time I upload a video. Keep in mind, none of these companies that I'm gonna talk about today are sponsoring this video in any kind of way. I simply wanna give you information about products that I've been using for quite some time now, and I honestly would recommend them to pretty much anybody that I know. All right, guys, let's face it. 2020 kind of destroyed the whole idea of protecting our gear because everything was canceled. Gigs, tours, I get it. But we can't forget that our gear needs to be protected. And I'm hopeful that in 2021, all of these things will start to pick up again. So much like 2019, we're gonna need to protect our gear in the year 2021. First, I wanna discuss my pedal board case. Now I have a ton of pedal board cases, I have to admit it. I've done everything from having just like a normal little gig bag all the way through to having a pro uh, live-in flight case, which I use, I still have to this day, my Blackbird pedal board flight case. I love it, but sometimes uh, for what I personally do, I need to be a little bit more lightweight and flexible. I love flight cases, the convenience of just popping the top off and that's it, you're set up, but carrying them around can be kind of a pain in the butt. And to be honest with you, flying with flight cases is not easy. Sometimes they're heavy, you end up having to carry and lug them around all through the airport. And if you're checking them in, sometimes it just exceeds that maximum weight limit and it, you have to pay extra for it. That stuff always gets flagged in TSA and they check your stuff and check your pedal board. And I actually transferred to a normal suitcase that I found on Amazon one day. Um, and I used that for quite some time, but it wasn't protecting my pedal board in the way that I felt comfortable. So I ended up switching over to something that was a little more compact, convenient for me, but also protecting my gear a lot more. And that was the Pelican case. More specifically, the Pelican IM2500 Storm Track case. I've been using Pelican cases overall for quite some time now. My wife has always used the Pelican case for her photography gear. I've even used their cases to hold my in-ears and picks and things like that when I travel. But I've never really used one for my pedal board as a lot of guitarists do, but now I understand why. It gives you the convenience and the flexibility of having a suitcase but the protection of a hard shell case or a road case. I feel confident that if this were to fall or if it would have to get checked in under a, in a flight, I know that it's gonna be protected. This case comes with really cool latches. It will not latch open unless you press this button to allow it to latch open. Uh, the handle is extremely sturdy and it stays put. It's not something that's gonna break down on you or flop off like a lot of handles do in most cases. This handle, this handle is gonna last you a long time. It's very, very, rugged. It has an amazing handle with a latch release so you have to hold the latch open and then it'll lock in place as so and for you to bring it back down you do it again. It's got very very sturdy wheels not that typical suitcase wheels that you know that they're pure plastic and just end up breaking. It's a monster. It protects my pedal board completely and I really dig it but there are some cons. Two major cons that I have with this case. Con number one, remember how I mentioned this little latch thing? As convenient as it is that it locks the handle in place, I have to admit, sometimes when I'm carrying a lot of stuff, sometimes I, when I play out, I like to vlog and I have my camera with me. The fact that I basically need two hands to get the handle to come in and out uh, kind of is a little frustrating. I know it's there for a reason. I know it serves a purpose, but I will admit that sometimes it when I'm in a rush, it's kind of frustrating to have to, you know, use two hands to get this thing to, to, to come back out. So um, a little bit of a con for me. The second con is the wheels. Now, the wheels are great, don't get me wrong, but I just wish they stuck out maybe at least another half inch more, maybe even a full inch. Now, I get why they don't because the case has to fit its size requirements. This particular case, and one of the main reasons why I got it was because it is considered a carry-on size so I can carry this onto a flight if they would allow me to do so. Um, so the wheels can't protrude out too much because then it wouldn't fit its requirements. But the problem with the wheels being so embedded into the case itself is that it doesn't leave a lot of room between the actual case and the floor. So if you've ever walked like on a city block, you know that those 
cracks and the floors could be bumpy. So there's been times where I've been walking and it'll hit a crack and then it'll just fall right out of my hand and slam right flat on its back. I believe that if the wheel stuck out just a little bit more, it would give it a little bit more room and therefore wouldn't slam into a crack like that, which ultimately knocks the case right out of my hands. But I think that the overall design and the concept of these cases are genius. Obviously, they're a popular company, so they do not need my help to help advertise and sell their products. Now, these things are not cheap. In fact, they're kind of expensive in my opinion. I happen to get mines from B&H at a little bit of a discount rate. It was $169. Um, you can find them on eBay, but sometimes I don't trust the wear and tear on these kinds of things, especially if the person who's selling is not including the foam. And for me, the foam was necessary uh, to, to really make this thing uh, custom build and snug. Yours is not going to look as cool as mine because I have a ton of stickers on here from years and years of uh, being cool. And you got to earn that. Sorry. I'm not cool. Lastly, I want to talk about my guitar case. It protects my baby. Now, both things are really precious to me. My pedal board is precious to me. It's very expensive. It houses everything I need. As you guys know, I use the HX Stomp, so I don't really travel with an amp anymore. So it's very important that my pedal board gets there safely. But... I can't do anything without my guitar. And my Nash T52 is expensive, at least for me it is, and it means a lot to me. It's a very precious guitar that was gifted to me by my wife, and I'm super thankful to have it, so I wanna make sure that I protect it. I've been using this guitar case since 2015, this exact same one, and it's amazing. I can't recommend it enough. And that is the SKB soft guitar case with EPS foam, which is basically like a composite foam. This thing is a monster. I featured it on this channel a couple of times. It's basically like a composite style case. Uh, they're a lot more popular nowadays than they were back when I, back in the day. Usually you either had a gig bag or you had a hard shell case. There was really nothing in between. And then all of a sudden mono cases came out and they really flooded the market and everybody loved them. But in my opinion, I know they have that basketball technology in the bottom, but nothing is really covering the guitar up top. So if the guitar fell flat on its face, it's still gonna get damaged. I know it has the neck hold, which would kind of protect the neck from snapping, but at the end of the day, I felt like the guitar would still be exposed to damage, uh, especially on a flight or, or a long trip where you can't sit next to your guitar. So I didn't really trust the mono cases, especially for the, at the price point. I didn't feel like it was something that was worth it for me personally. So I kept searching and eventually found this SKB case. Nowadays, there's a lot more versions of these, uh, maybe at an even better price point, but I've been using this exact one for years now. This particular version is made for a Telecaster or a Stratocaster, so I can travel with either one of those guitars in here. Obviously, I travel more with the Tele than anything else. It has book bag straps, really nice ones actually. They are sewed directly on. They're not those like clip-on straps. They're just directly on the fabric. A uh, great handle as well that's lasted all of these years. The zipper has never gone out of place or broken on me. Uh, uh, an extremely deep pocket, which I fit tons of stuff in there. I travel with tools all the time. My iPad, cables, direct boxes, uh, even my hard drives. Everything goes in here all of the time and I've never had an issue or a problem with it. The case by itself is extremely lightweight and therefore is easy to carry around. So literally the only weight you feel on your shoulders when you're carrying it is the actual weight of the guitar. This case is not cheap. I got it on Amazon for about $100 even. Uh, sometimes I see them go for less and sometimes I see them go for more. Again, would I buy this used? Maybe because I trust this case so much, but at the end of the day, I really hate to buy cases used. I think that it's not worth it because you just don't know what you're getting. You don't know what kind of damage the case took. So I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm sure you can find it at a much better price point nowadays than I did back in 2015. The convenience of using products like the HX Stomp is that this is all I travel with, my pedal board and my guitar. So I only need to carry two things. The problem is that I also like to film, so I end up having to bring camera equipment as well. Sometimes I bring it and, never, and don't even end up filming, kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. As I mentioned before, 2020 took a lot of opportunities away from us, so I know we didn't travel much, but 2021, let's get out there and make sure your equipment is protected. Please do all the things to help this channel grow, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and hit the bell icon so you know every single time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching, and until next time.